Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at another integration by parts uh, example here. All right, so we have the integral of x cubed times the natural log of 5x. Now, the thing to remember is uh, whenever you see these on a homework or on a test or something, they're not going to tell you that it's integration by parts. There should be something in this integral that tells us, hey, this is probably integration by parts as opposed to u substitution or another rule or another rule or another technique. And what, what kind of tips me off uh, that this could be integration by parts is the fact that there's a product of something times something. Okay, so just a reminder of what integration by parts is. It says, uh, it says that the integral of u dv, so it's u times dv, equals u times v minus the integral of v du. So first of all, we have to make a decision on who's going to be u and who's going to be our dv. Um, now, typically u is something that will um, be easy to differentiate and preferably get smaller and easier if we do that and dv needs to be something that is relatively easy to integrate now you look at both of these and oftentimes very very often we choose the power of x to be u because du would get smaller from the power rule x cubed would turn into 3x squared if we found du. That sounds like a great choice for you. However, that's not going to be the case in, in this example. Here's why. If we look at dv, um, natural log of x uh, absolutely could not be dv in this example because natural log of x is not something easily integrable. Um, granted, I don't want to integrate x cubed, but I can, right? It's not, it's not terrible to do. Um, so really what forces my hand in this uh, particular example is the natural log of x, or natural log of 5x rather. So natural log of 5x again has to be the u because I can take his derivative quite easily, but not his integral. And then, um, you know, just process of elimination, the x cubed is forced to be the dv, unfortunately. But, you know, we do what we have to do. Okay, so we have those two terms, but notice in integration by parts, not only do I have a u and a dv, but I also have a um, du and a v. I also have the other two guys. So to get du, I will take the derivative of natural log of 5x. So that's u prime over u. Um, well, here, maybe a bad choice of a letter there because I've already got a u. Let, let me say it this way the derivative of the inside over the inside. That's that's another way of phrasing it. So we get a five over five X or just one over X after we cancel those fives there. And we can put a DX on the end as well. All right, um, if DV is X cubed, how could I retrieve just the V? Well, I'd integrate and get X to the fourth over four. All right, so now I have all the pieces of my puzzle. I've got a U, I've got a V, and I've got a V and a DU. So let me plug these in here and uh, we'll see what we get. Here's integration by parts. Um, the integral of X cubed times the natural log of 5X would be U times V. So X to the fourth over four times the natural log of 5X, right? Minus the integral of v du v du and again something i like to do is if i have any constants like this one fourth that i see here this one fourth right here i like to pull those outside the integral because you can pull constants outside of an integral and then v du i also have an x to the fourth times one over x dx x to the fourth over x would simply be x cubed dx now, if we made a wise decision, if we pick u and dv correctly, what you'll notice is that this integral here uh, should be um, easier to do, right? And in fact, it is. Um, I can integrate x cubed, you know, no problem. So here we go, final answer, x to the fourth over four, natural log of five x minus, all right, uh, one fourth is a tag along constant, integral of x cubed would be x to the fourth over four, x to the fourth. And if you don't mind, instead of over four, I also have another one fourth, so it'll be over 16. And then we'll have our plus c at the end. So here's our indefinite integral answer. And again, we got this by integration by parts. 
noticing that this was a product, wisely picking U and DV, and just basically plugging it in the formula. All right, so if you um, would like to see some other integration by parts examples or uh, other videos, uh, then please visit my website, fireflylectures.com.